What is up guys, Coop here, and today I got an exciting announcement. Today we're going to be looking at Battle of Azeroth, World of Warcraft's new expansion. Now it's come out with a few different things. Um, today we're going to be diving into the new alliance races coming in. Now keep in mind these are sub races, these aren't actually really new races, but in return they do have a lot of cool things about them and a lot of stuff I really really want to dive in because it's super exciting to see this new expansion. I'm actually kind of hyped for it. Um, wasn't exactly the direction I thought it was going to go, but I'm still pretty happy over all for it so let us actually dive in and look at what our first things are so for the alliance races we have three races we have the light forge draenei the dark iron dwarves and void elves so let's t dive in and look at every single one of these because we need to figure out why exactly they would join the alliance the first one is of course the light forge draenei light forge draenei um were originally in the army of the light uh they were in the army of the light uh Basically, because they were the descendants of Argus, they joined the Army of the Light, and they've been battling, battling the Burning Legion ever since. It kind of makes sense for them to go with the Draenei. Um, it's a little weird to see them actually still kind of uh, being buddy-buddy with the Alliance, um, seeming as they used to be a neutral faction. and they, I guess maybe because they lost their purpose, they're trying to just be with their people. Um, it, it, it's a little confusing seeing them in this group, but in general, I'm happy to see them... Um, it's gonna be really cool. I really love their just eyes and their just like overall like structure. And it seems like they got a variety of different horns too. So that could be actually relatively interesting. Now the next race that we're gonna be looking at is the Dark Iron Dwarves. Uh, this one's very obvious. Um, Dark Iron Dwarves have actually joined the Alliance uh, for quite some time now. I think it was like roughly Cataclysm when they joined. Um, so they've been around for a hot while. Um, it was only a matter of time. And also from a um, sort of a technical standpoint they're really easy to do like you just give a person black skin and red eyes and boom that, there you go you have uh, your uh, dark iron dwarf for you um, so very excited to see that um, now the next one that we're gonna be looking at is void elves and this one has a very interesting um, overall aesthetic uh, especially since they have like the wings they have more of the paler skin they look more like uh, blood elves which is kinda weird um, but I mean, technically, uh, they got the uh, whole uh, Shadow Elves and the ones from Suramar, um, so it makes sense that we get the Blood Elf looking ones. So, it kind of goes hand in hand. We kind of get both races uh, now, uh, which is really cool. I expected us to get um, the Nightborn, but I guess we didn't. Uh, it makes sense that the Horde get the Nightborn, but uh, still, the Void Elves, we know absolutely nothing about, but I'm assuming this is going to be from Illyria and her people. So... Alright, so anyways, that is all the races. Now, we're going to actually talk about um, what these races can do for us. Um, so, basically, we're going to be trying to get these allies into our factions. Um, they're each going to have quest chains to unlock these new races. Like, So, they're basically, there's going to be quest chains for every single one of these. Um, they also will have new racials. Um, and they all begin at level 20 rather than level 1. Which is kind of weird. But, um, as an allied race, you unlock heritage armor level 110 so if you level them up all the way to 110 you get heritage armor which is supposed to be like some crown jewel like achievement like hey i leveled up a character woo um but right now they do have six uh allied races at launch and more planned um so this is what i'm trying to read off of um heritage armor apparently works with all armor so that's gonna be really really cool but uh We'll see as the time goes on. I'm still watching the BlizzCon on the virtual ticket, and I will try to make more content as it goes on. Thank you.